Now here we have, and you can see in the mirror shot, a simple extraction of tooth number 19. And the walls are intact. You can see a little uh, defect in the interceptal bone. That's right, a pop out of mesial root. And once you've curated the socket and everything's cleaned, you're ready to place the graft. Now, as we look a little bit closer, you can see the, inner, the intact buccal wall, so we know everything is all set. And like I said, we get it clean and we're ready for the graft. Now, I like to use Osix bone. It's been very easy to use. I use the 0.5 size, the larger size, cut it right in half, put a half into each root socket. Works great. You just pack it down gently, not too hard. And you can see now that you've got it compacted in there, it's already starting to hydrate with the patient's own blood, so you don't have to do anything extra there. And now we're ready to suture. Now, I like to put a piece of gel foam. You can also put some collar plug or a membrane over, but you really don't have to use a full membrane for this. So I just use some, some gel foam. Now to start the suture, this is called a crossover mattress suture. You start from the distal buckle, you go outside to in, and then you can see where that needle has come through. You bring it over, you cross it over to the mesial buckle, you go inside to out. Once you pull that through, you're gonna do a horizontal mattress now and you go to the distal lingual, bring it from in outside to in, and then you're gonna cross over again from that distal lingual to the mesial buckle, crossing over the top of the gel foam, and that goes inside to out. Now you've got both ends coming through the buckle, you pull them tight, you see the cross over there on top. So that's going to hold everything down and keep it stable, at least through the initial healing period. Once you're happy with that, you go ahead and just tie it tight, and you're all set, and you're done.